God is great at everything. One of the things that he's great at is bringing good out of, out of evil, out of bad circumstances, bad events. One such event um, was uh, the, uh, the conquering of the Holy Land. The conquering of the Holy Land by the Muslim, the Muslim invasion, which, which led to many Christians fleeing for their lives. Uh, one of the group of Christians that fled for their lives were a group of brothers of monks, hermits, who were living and praying on Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel, that place where Elijah had, uh, had lived and had been, and they were dedicated to Our Lady. They fled and went to, and went, uh, and, and went to uh, England and, and set up their, their place, their hermitage, their, um, their way of life there. These were the first Carmelites, right? They went to England, and it was there that a man, St. Simon Stock encountered this community, and he would later join this community dedicated to Our Lady of Mount Carmel, whose feast day we celebrate today. In 1251, St. Simon of Stock, and he was called of Stock because Stock was another word for tree, and for a while he lived in the trunk of a tree, right? He lived very simply, ate very simply, and de devoted and dedicated his, his life to prayer. Um, and so St. Simon Stock in 1251 received a vision from Our Lady. And it was in that vision that he received the brown scapular and was told to wear this scapular. This is what Our Lady said to him. She said, this shall be a privilege for you and all Carmelites that anyone dying in this habit shall not suffer eternal fire that for any of the Carmelites who would wear this brown scapular, they wouldn't suffer eternal fire. They wouldn't suffer hell forever. But rather, Our Lady would come for them. We think, connected to this gospel today, Christ is saying, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Take this yoke upon you and learn from me. In a sense, Our Lady is imitating imitating this gospel story today, to take this yoke, you know, the scapular is the two cords with a, with a cloth on the front and the back that goes over our shoulders, much like a yoke, a yoke that's not meant to bring a greater burden, although we put it on, but it is to be a reminder, a sacramental, a devotional, that every day we remember um, Our Lady, her interceding for us, praying for us, us looking to her example to, and looking for her to lead us to Jesus. Just one more thing with the scapular, Pope John the 22nd, he um, heard Our Lady speak to him about the brown scapular, and she said, I, the mother of grace, shall descend on the Saturday after their death, and whomsoever I shall find in purgatory, I shall free, so that I may lead them to the holy mountain of life everlasting. Um, Our Lady promised uh, Pope John the 22nd, as this account says, that anyone who faithfully wears the scapular, that on the Saturday following their death, that she would come for them and bring them, if they were in purgatory, at that point uh, to heaven. And so uh, I encourage you on this day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel um, to uh, renew your devotion to Our Lady, to the Holy Scapular. If you don't wear a scapular, consider um, reading more about it and maybe taking up that practice because it's a great devotion and with these promises is something really, really powerful. And then as well, just be, mind, be, be mindful, right, of the power of God. God is great at everything. And even evil, difficult things like this must have been awful for the Carmelites. They're living in the Holy Land. They're, they're living on Mount Carmel. And they had to flee. They had to flee. They couldn't remain there. But yet out of this, look at what they received. Their order, the Holy, receive the Holy Scapular, which then could open up for, for the whole world, for all lay people, for everyone, to embrace this great... Uh, this great devotion. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the